Hey YouTube, time to do a shrimp update for May 2017. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, we're going to start um, May's update here and we'll just kind of go with about the same order we usually do. Start over here with the lower grade crystal reds doing real well as always got a ton of them if you're looking for uh, crystal reds A through S grade email me and uh, we can work something out um, I'm always selling these guys my email will be down below in the description area of the video moving next door is the kind of uh, black pinto slash Thai B slash couple other things tank they're doing good Saw some recent uh, couple of babies, and then I haven't seen any since. I'm assuming they're all kind of hiding back in the subwasser tank back there. But um, I'm gonna pull up my chair so I can get up real close here. Um, there's another buried Thai bee right there. Oh no, I take that back. That's a buried pinto, I believe. So that's great news. That uh, might be one of my, that doesn't look like one of my Thai bees. My Thai bees had more of a blue. That's uh, hard to tell through the camera. Anyway, something's uh, buried right there. I'd like to add some more uh, black pintos to this, both spotted heads and zebras. So I'll be on the lookout for some of those. Uh, next door here is the other crystal red, and it's also got some golden bees and some whites in here. I'm going to be kind of separating this tank out. I've got a few tanks um, that have just finished cycling that I'm ready to add shrimp to, so I'm going to probably pull the golden bees and maybe the whites out of here. And, uh, and then pull out the lower grade crystal reds from this tank and put them in the other tank and make this more of a high grade crystal red tank. But as you can see, there's a lot of good activity in here. There's a little baby. Next door are the PRLs. They're still doing great. Seen some babies in here recently, so that's good news. Uh, just saw one. A couple of them. Oops. Camera's not doing real well right now. Anyway, that's that tank. Next door here are the Super Crystal Reds. Um, you've seen these in one of my past videos. I recently got more of these um, from Steve Barbie. Shout out to Steve Barbie. If you're looking for high-end, high-quality shrimp, um, make sure you check him out. Um, he's got awesome stuff. I got some of my Pintos from him, and then I've got these Super Crystals from him as well, and I couldn't be happier with the shrimp you get and service, and just an all-around nice guy, so shout out to Steve. But uh, anyway, there's... Uh, the original ones I got were from Scott Barr, and then now, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, maybe it's Bear, B-A-H-R. Um, and then now I've gotten two sets in from Steve. So I've got between 20 and 30 Super Crystal Reds in here, various sizes. Looking forward to, hoping to uh, really grow this colony out. And, looks like that's going to be happening soon. This is the first I'm seeing this, but 
Looks like we got a buried female right there. That's awesome. Couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier to see that. So this is one of the bigger ones, so that must have been from my first group that I got from Scott Barr. So this, this colony is about to expand. Awesome. The mixed uh, Taiwan B tank down, down here is doing great. Gonna separate out, separate out the wine red, wine pandas, put them in one of my new tanks. Also gonna be starting up a separate blue bolt tank. I've got some blue bolts coming in today. Um, and then I may take some of the nicer ones out of here, put them in that tank and have a blue bolt only tank. Um, over here, these are the, uh, the Savage Red colony that's slowly starting to really grow, so that's good. I've had these guys for just a long time, and as I've said in prior videos, they've gone down to basically less than, just a handful of shrimp, and now they're starting to breed again, so that's really cool. Royal Blue Tigers, um, two sets of babies that have happened in the last month or so. And I've got some different blood coming in today to add to this so that uh, we can kind of expand the line, I guess you'd say. So really looking forward to getting back to where I was with the Royal Blue Tigers where I had just a ton of them. Um, over here are the uh, Blue Velvets, or excuse me, um, Blue Dreams. They're doing good. Buried Mama there. Um, yeah, these guys are doing good also. Hopefully I'll be in a position to start selling these soon. People have been asking me about them, especially locally. So, um, yeah, and then this is what, um, these and the super crystal reds that we, that I showed you before are what I'm most pumped about these days. These are my red pintos. I've got some zebras, some spotted heads, maybe a couple bellies in there too. But yeah, um, really digging these guys there. They seem to be thriving and growing. I got, these are a mixture, um, the first group of these that I got were from Scott Bear, or Bar also, and then I recently got some in from Steve Barbie. So, um, yeah, I can't wait till these guys are old enough and start breeding and can expand this colony as well. Um, down here are my, uh, my red... I don't know, you can call them a mixture of things. There's some that are painted fire red quality in here, fire reds, there's some regular cherries. But this colony continues to just expand and grow and thrive. So um, they're doing well. And then finally down here are the Crystal Blacks, doing decent. Had a few babies that I've noticed in the tank here and there. Not a huge major um, bunch of babies or anything, but you know, we'll continue to work with these as well. Uh, these two tanks are new tanks that have just been cycled. I've got two more up in my office. I'm not going to bother showing you because nothing's going on up there as far as uh, there's nothing in any of the tanks other than the 90 gallon, and they're just uh, reds, um, similar to these. Um, some same quality, some lower, whatever. But yeah, that's basically it for now, guys. Um, once I have uh, shrimp in some of these new tanks, I'll uh, I'll do another video and show you guys what I've got going on. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like always, uh, you know, if you're new to this channel, it's the first time you're seeing one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get all my updates. 
Um, thanks to everybody that does uh, subscribe and has been subscribed for a long time, watches all my videos, comments, takes part in it. I really appreciate it. Um, and make sure you check out my fish room updates too. Even if you're more of a shrimp keeper, I do updates on my fish. Um, we're down here in my basement right now where I keep all my cichlids as well. So make sure you check out those updates, and, and even if you're not into them, you might be interested in taking a look and seeing what I've got. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and take care.